Assisting the inquiry, so it's made, made it clear that the Royal Commission doesn't regard that as a win, but it regards it as union members. No, Did you Kathy, really forget that that fifty thousand dollars went to Jeff Jackson? Yes. You forgot the fifty thousand dollars from that. I knew it we went to the number one branch. I wasn't positive, but I was giving that evidence, but I hadn't seen those documents before. Exactly who it went to. Just, just if you elaborate for us, why are you feeling so attacked and ambushed for that? Why? Um, I wake up in the morning and I see a front page story that is exclusive in the Australian, totally exclusive for the Australian. It was printed in Fairfax Media in June. That's not an exclusive. It's repackaged. That was a different material. story, Mr. Jackson, no, actually. No, totally it's not, different it's story. Not a Sorry. Different story. It was actually. It was not a different story. But what's that got to do with the Royal Commission, Captain Jackson? What it's, got to do, what it's got to do with the Royal Commission? It's got everything to do with the Royal Commission. The view that some people, that some people in the media are taking is totally defamatory my position. And what Mr Norrington wrote to the Australian today was not an exclusive. Um, uh, Schneider's, Mackenzie and Baker had exactly the same story. In the, in, uh, Sorry, that was a Fairfax. different story. It was not a different story. The allegation there was that I was friends with Karen, Gill Karen Gilleland and that I, um, what was it, that I, um, sorry, that I was friends with the Gilleland's and I never disclosed that and Karen Gilleland came to me with all these complaints about um, Michael Williamson defrauding the union. These are the same people that continue to have corrupt contracts with the HSU, the same people that um, got immunity from prosecution. And Miss Gillellan to say today to Mr Norrington that, you know, I was I never said she wasn't my friend. She's always been she was my friend. We all work together. And the reason I called this for or I asked for a Royal Commission is to make sure that this stuff never happens again. Well getting back to the Royal Commission, why do you think the Royal Commission has ambushed you? I don't know, ask them. Well, no, you said it inside in the witness stand. Why do you feel the Royal Commission has ambushed you today? They've ambushed me today because I came to the Royal Commission today. I was, repair, I was preparing a statement for the Royal Commission that they say that wasn't required of me, and I say it is required of me to uh, prepare a statement, to give a statement, to clarify matters before the Royal Commission. And I'll talk to people then. But I was totally ambushed today. People know I was ambushed today. Um, and the front page of the papers today is just appalling. You know, the Australians are claimed as an exclusive when it wasn't. This stuff had been in the papers from like in June. Um, Fairfax wrote it. And for the Australians were claiming it was exclusive, it was absolute bullshit. So the so Labor Party and Bill Shorten and that are using members. online trolls to stalk and harass you and your family. Is that, having an, impact? Is that having an impact on you? Of course it is. I'm human. I'm a, I'm a parent with children. And Mr Shorten is up to his neck in this. And, you and, and, and today in the paper, you know, they talk about Miss Gillelland being my friend. Miss Gillelland was at a function with Bill Shorten at, on Cup Day. Somehow she's just my friend. Why did they ask Mr Shorten about his... Um, Friendship with the Gillowans. Are you confident you've done nothing wrong by union members? No, I have not. I have done nothing wrong by union members. I've exposed what's been going on. I said early on, from the beginning of this, uh, from this, when I took my allegation to the police, I'm no political virgin. I know what happened. I was involved in things. And, you know, that's why I wanted a Royal Commission. It's a dirty, grubby game. That's what it is. And I don't make you know, I'm not trying to say that I'm just a saint and I've done nothing wrong, etc., etc. But what was put to me today by the Royal Commission was totally unjust, totally unjust. When I had no legal representation, I was totally ambushed. So the money in that slush fund was fine for you to spend how you wish. As far as I was concerned, there was an offline account, there was a discretionary account that the money was put aside, and for Peter Mack to settle with the union at that time, they wanted cover for their board, and we gave them that cover. And that's what happened. And the members didn't get their back pay? No, the members did. No, no. The, don't buy into that. The members got a settlement. This was a separate settlement and that was a win for to the organisation. 